Greetings, fellow guardians and sheepers. My name is Lamby Plays. I am your guide. And welcome back to another lore reading here on the channel. Today, we are going back, back, back in time to the beginning, to the worms, to the darkness and to the origin of the hive. I am, of course, referring to the books of sorrow. Now, I am in the very fortunate position. I am reading this from the lore book, a hard copy here on my desk, but I will have the text up on screen for you. Let us turn to the lore. Verse 1.0 Fundament Dearest sisters, it's taken me two years, a quarter of our lives, but I've found the proof. We aren't native to the fundament. Our ancient ancestors came here to hide. The plate of stone we live on our Osmium Court is one fragment of a rocky planet that crashed into the Fundament and broke apart. All the other nearby continents, the Helium Drinkers, the Bone Plaza, the Star Cutters, all came from the same world. Perhaps the other races of the Fundament are migrants too. We live on the shrapnel of our homeworld, floating on an ocean deep inside a gas giant. That's what Fundament must be, a titanic gas planet. The endless storm above us must be one layer of the atmosphere, and the sea we float on? There's more down beneath it, so much more. You understand what this means, Sathona. The timid truth is a lie. We aren't meant to be the world's prey. We weren't born to live and die in the dark. We have a better destiny. Tell our father, Sister Sathona. This is the proof of his life's work. With love, on your second birthday, your first surviving sister, Orash. We move directly along. Verse 1.1 1 .1. Predators and menaces, carved to endure by Zyro, third surviving sister of the Osmium King's last brood. A Stormjoy A Stormjoy is a living cloud. When it passes over our continent, it lowers its feeding tentacles. On each tentacle there are bait stars. Although light makes you happy, you must avoid it. You will be eaten. A storm joy is a good way for an old person to choose death. Also, a daring knight can cut the bait stars from the tentacles. I have six. Falling. If you fall off the edge of the continent, you will die in the ocean. This is a special hazard when our father, the Osmium King, uses the engines. Helium drinkers. The currents of the Fundament Ocean bring us near other continents. The Helium Court is near us now. They are of our species, but they are our enemies. Their knights raid us every day. Helium drinkers have two legs, two arms and three eyes, just like us, but they are bright and evil. I want to be a knight and fight them. The Helium Drinker Ambassador ate ten of my sisters as tribute. This is normal. However, I resent it. Mothers. Mothers can fly. They live much longer than ten years. Mothers are extremely smart and they guard their spawn. If you try to tamper with the eggs, they will eat you. 
Sathona wants to eat the jelly and become a mother when she turns four. Storms. The rain is often poisonous. Sometimes it dissolves flesh. When lightning misses the lightning farm, it can vaporize a person. This entire world is deadly to us. Mysteries? Fundament is very large, and we are the smallest things in it. If you don't understand something, it will probably kill you. My teacher, Teox, says this is why we have such short lives, so we can breed and adapt quickly. Moon waves. My sister Orash is afraid of moon waves. When she gets back from her expedition to the tungsten monoliths, I will ask her why. Next, and finally for this particular reading, we move to the hateful verse, verse 1.2. For the consideration of the helium court, written in desperation, this sealed secret. I am Teox, sterile mother, teacher of the children of the Osmium throne. As a mother, I live long. As a neuter, I can rise above the small battles of court politics. I alone see the patterns of survival. Alone I designed the great engines that move the Osmium court. Now, alone I must act to save my kingdom. Senility has claimed my lord, the Osmium King. He is ten and mad. The study of ancient texts consumes him. Today he raves about moons above the storm. Tomorrow he will wander the halls speaking to his familiar, a dead white worm from the deep sea. He keeps it in glass and tends to it, and he neglects the duties of a king. The Osmium King has three surviving heirs, each two years old. Syro, the youngest and bravest, who wants to be a knight. Sathona, most clever, who wants to be a mother. And Orash, navigator child, who dreams of the infinite ocean. Tomorrow she will return from the tungsten monoliths. None of these are suitable heirs. None of them will protect the Osmium court from the Howling Fundament. Zyro can fight but not lead. Sathona can think but not fight. Orash's curiosity will draw her away from duty. I fear for the future of all children. Soon the Osmium King will lock himself into the Royal Orrery to study the moons. Gather your knights, O Helium Drinkers, and invade our continent. Kill the three heirs. I will rule the Osmium Court as your regent and build engines for you. And if I fail, let the Leviathan in the deep eat me. Written in grief, this hateful request. Teox, Osmia Mother, neutered to watch. Thank you all so much for joining me on this law reading. Um, the Books of Sorrow are, for me, extremely interesting, and I love going back and reading just the history of the hive and how things started but these are also quite dark so I'm gonna try to keep these particular uh, verses or these particular readings under 10 minutes keep it nice and short so we take this in in bits and bytes um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this law reading if you did please leave a like uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more um, I'm gonna try to get these to you as often as I can and uh, until next time do remember Keep your eyes up, your weapon loaded, and your tongue sharp. 
I'll see you guys next time.